morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is your hippie-dippie painter man coming at you once again from beautiful Key Largo, Florida. And I'd like to introduce to you today my new assistant, Buster the Crab. Say hello, Buster. Hello, people. I'm Buster the Crab. <laughs> Alright, you sit over there, Buster. Alright, now... I'm going to do something different for you today as per usual. I'm going to do a reverse flower dip. Okay? Learn this from watching Fiona on Fiona Art. Now, now, I have mixed up my three colors on top, which is Nico Ezo Gold from Golden. It's with a small amount of 24 karat gold from Deco Art, which is this color here. Now all of these are mixed with CI Creative Inspirations and thinned with water. The next color I'm using is Iridescent Copper Fine by Golden and that is this color. You see the consistency of this? Just one straight pour pretty much go straight in. All right, and the next color we're going to be using is Bordeaux Red. It's a lovely blood color, the Dracula like. And this is what it looks like. Let's see here. Now, Blood Red or Bordeaux Red is from Arteza. All right, the base we're going to be using is Amsterdam Oxide Black. And this is this here. Also mixed with Creative Inspirations. Water to thinness. Okay. Then we're going to be using a pearl mix. Now this is one to one pearl to Amsterdam titanium white. And then it is four to one with the pouring medium. And the pouring medium in this case is 60% is glue this stuff here and 40% water. Now that's not the whole deal. You got to thin and thicken until you get the right consistency which is the same consistency of these three paints. Now I'm working today on a six inch round cradle wood and we've taped it up with frog tape. My uh, spinner here and all this has been leveled up as you can see perfectly level and we're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and put my base paint on and we'll be back with you in just a sec. Alright boys and girls, I am back. Now, let's start out. First round we're going to go with the gold. Now, like I said, what I'm going to try and do here is do a spiral and go straight to the middle. So we'll see how this works out. Let's start right here. This ain't gonna work. I'm gonna have to squeeze a cup and do it because it doesn't want to pour off of the little thingy there. So. And there we go. That's the goal. Now I'm gonna go with the red. Last but not least, we're going to run a little run of black base around it. This is just hopefully for shadowing. Well, it, was, it doesn't want to flow, so I guess we're putting drops of it. As I said, this is a reverse flower dip. So next thing in the plan is to wet up a paper towel. So we're going to spray wet this right quick and we're going to set it, we're going to fold it in half. We're going to set it on there right towards the middle. There we go. Then you take this other half and you sit it on there. 
Let it down a little bit. Yeah, there's a whole lot of paint on there, so I'm gonna pat it down quite a bit. All right, give it a second. Now this may come out awful. May not work at all, but it's gonna be what it's gonna be, folks. All right, let's try and pick her up. Now, first thing you do is grab the corners. One corner goes to another one, and then another corner goes to that one, and then another corner goes to that one. Then you take these corners that are sticking out, you open them up like this, and you bring that in. You open this up, bring it in. And you open this up, and you bring it in. There's way too much paint on there, but let's go ahead and lift it up. It's cool looking. It ain't what I'm looking for, but it is cool. There's a lot of paint on there still. I tried to do it thinner. I tried to do a nice thin line, but it wouldn't do it. Yep, might be, mama might be right. Might be a scraper. The stuff that's out here, Looks far better than what's on here. <laughs> Ain't that a trip? Alright, I'm gonna scrape this. We'll be back in a sec. Alright guys and gals, I started to dump that off into the trash and I came up with this after I poured some of it off of there. I think that's pretty darn cool. I think that looks like some sort of an alien planet. So I'm gonna keep this and we're gonna find us another canvas to do this on and try it again. So, uh, give me just a sec. All right, boys and girls, I'm back. We are now working on a eight by 10 uh, square canvas. And I put all of my paint into bottles, which will hopefully help me with the amount I put on. I wheeled off as much of this paint as possible that was on the bottom. Uh, as you can see, there's a line there, a line there, and a kind of squirrely circle in the middle. That gives me the center of the actual thingamabob here. And I'm going to start with the gold that I explained to you earlier. And we're going to, I'm going to tap it to get it to the top. Then I'm going to take the thing off. And we'll start right here. And stop there. Still a lot of paint. I don't think these squirty things are the end all be all of this. Just gonna put a slight amount of this in near the center here for shading. Fold it together on the half and then I'm gonna wet it on both sides. Then, we're going to try and set this at a perfect half, hopefully, it should be right there. And we're going to grab this other side, sit it down up here, then we're going to stretch this a little bit, make sure, get these bubbles out. Still feels like there's a lot of paint under there, but I don't think it's too terribly bad. Mostly the black paint is the, the culprit this time, I think. I'm going to go ahead and spread that out as I can to get it off the sides. Now I'll leave that for just a second. We will see if there's any abracadabra involved. <laughs> But I gotta say, I love what the other one did. Wasn't no way I was gonna scrape that. So I don't call that a fail. I may have failed in what I was originally trying to do, but what I got is beautiful, so that's not a fail. Remember that, folks. Just because you don't do exactly what you wanna do, sometimes it comes out cool anyway. So you wanna, you might wanna keep those failures. And then they're not a failure if they keep if you keep them they're a keeper. You know, pick up these corners one by one. 
get them to the center. And then we're going to pick up the other corners. One, two, three, four. Three, two, one. And that's pretty cool, except for the fact that my base paint is too thin. And you can see my canvas through it. That pretty much did what it was supposed to. I may have to put some more base on there to cover those spots. But that's not bad. We'll let that sit and develop for a second. And then I'll fire it. And see if we got pearls. What do you think, Buster? You like it? Man, I love that. That's cool as hell. How'd you do that, man? Oh, let me look. Oh, whoop, wait a minute. My eyes don't move that way. What are you doing? Me, 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 me. Oh, man. Let me go. Let me go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm letting you go, Buster. Sit over there. Good gracious. <laughs> Throw a fit, why don't you? <laughs> go ahead and touch this right in the middle. And get that center to look better. There we go. Best tool you got on earth, guys. Your finger. You see what I touched in the middle, how it brought all that together? It's pretty darn cool. And I'm okay with the amount of negative space I have also. Let me get my little spatula here. Pick up some of this excess off the side and put it on the top here. Because paper towel didn't just take the top paint off, it took the black off and it ain't supposed to. Got all my canvas bald spots took care of. Now there is a little canvas showing in these areas, in that area there, but I don't know how I would fix that because it's within the design unless I you know I'd really rather not have that little smear up there any damn way so let's try that let's try and just get rid of the whole darn smear see if I can do that smear up there either. I got to get rid of it too. I hope we didn't lose too much of that. My camera turned off because I had a memory issue on it. I had to go in and delete stuff. But whatever we happen to miss, I'm going to go on from here. And I'm going to take a little bit more of this uh, excess smear off of this. I just think it'll make it look better. I'm going to take this little piece of nastiness here off too. So we're going to go in here and get some of that paint out of the cup. And I'm going to go right here. Go ahead and take my stylus. Go around that edge. Uh, probably all the way around so it doesn't look like that's, uh, again, uh, a mistake that I took off. It looks like something that was supposed to be there. Well, I think that's a whole lot prettier now. Now that it doesn't have the glaring extra smear, I'm going to go ahead and fire that up again. Try and get these things to do a little more around there and give you all a close-up on it so you can see what I'm talking about I dig it let's see how you dig it we'll zoom all the way in and we'll come out you can see the way the edges of that white paint have bubbled up kind of I don't know how to explain it but this is what the pearl does 
what you see there. Hold on, back this way. That stuff. That's what the pearl does. Isn't that pretty? Go across here. Across there. And we'll go that way. And that way. So that's what we have. This, I think it's gorgeous. It's as close as I can get. It's my version of Fiona's reverse flower dip. So, if you like what I've done today, hit the like button, please, please, because that helps me out. If you'd like to see more of it, please do hit the subscribe. If you're not part of the Hippie Dippy family yet, we would love to have you, because we love each and everybody in our family, and we're so glad that you're here. Um, if you hit the little bell, it will tell you every time I am on, but there's a trick to that. The, uh, you know, YouTube, I don't know how they do it. They must have an algorithm or something. Uh, they decide and pick and choose what ones you can see if you just hit the bell. But if you pull down the scroll menu and you hit the all button like this, that will get you every single time that I do something. You'll get a notification. And then you get to choose which ones you'd like to see. Share it with your friends, because if you dig it, your friends will dig it. Please do comment. I'd love to see your comments, and I will answer them timely. And uh, that being said, until I see you again, same blah, 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 time, same blah, 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 channel. Peace out.